All right, back to the 2017 Toyota Camry Hybrid. The shop here sourced a new relay assembly, and on this one, all four pins are present, so that is promising. And we're here to put it in, make sure everything works, make sure the car actually runs and drives. So we're gonna follow the OEM procedure. Keep in mind, we're working with high voltage uh, on this hybrid battery. And step number one, this is the OEM instructions. Uh, remove service plug grip. Well, they already did that. That's this big orange thing that goes in there. Now, what does that connect? I wanna know on the wiring diagram, what are we doing by removing this service plug grip? So here is the HV battery, and there's you're basically disconnecting the two sides of the battery. So then current can't possibly make it from here all the way back. And we're changing this piece. So I guess it has three mounting bolts, and right here is where the HV battery connects. So We'll do a voltage measurement on here, just to be 100% safe, <laughs> because we don't want to mess anything up. And then uh, change it out, clear the codes, see how this thing runs. All right, so we have to take off this shield. So now that's Let's do the other side. So on this side we also have two nuts. I guess you don't need to take them off all the way, but and then this enough okay put that over there now we have one two three bolts and these wires so disconnect these guys Put them to the side. Now, here are the two terminals. So let's measure the voltage right across those, make sure it's zero before we uh, unscrew them. All right, so on the meter, across these two terminals, we have 69 volts. Hmm, so my question is, why do we have 69 volts there? So we're measuring across this whole, this whole uh, assembly, and if this service plug grip is out, what happens if we connect a test light across across here and here. Will it light up? There shouldn't be any current path because the current won't be able to flow through the battery. So I'm gonna try to do that. Worst case scenario, we'll burn up a test light. <laughs> Here we go. Now I, let's connect the meter to the test light so we'll see what voltage is on there. I don't know, is it gonna burn out? That's it, zero volts. 
interesting. Is everything connected properly? Let's see if the reading is jumping around means Just double check so meter both leads are good okay so we're safe for sure there must have been a little bit of potential on there but the test light didn't even light and now we're safe to remove this relay pack all right here we go it's an eight millimeter There. This guy. Okay. Now, just three bolts. On this one, I can see. Someone's, someone's already been here. Is that bolt missing? You probably didn't know what to do. I can't even see that one. Get from here. Straightforward. And there's our prize. And now we can clearly see that, that pin is just completely missing. <laughs> so we'll put in the new one. And that's it. We'll just see if it works. Okay, so the new HV relay assembly is installed. That's all plugged in. Let's uh let's put in the big Big plug and then reconnect our battery over here. See what happens. Here we go. This there's only one way this can go in. Pretty straightforward. And then this one. Alright. Alright, let's plug in the scanner, see what happens. So with these auction cars, I got in the habit of at least checking the engine oil <laughs> before startup. And yes, it does have oil in it. That's all we need. <clears throat> all right, there's our report. Okay, so let's go into hybrid. High voltage system interlock circuit high. So that's a different code, P0A0D. So enter, okay. Interlock circuit high. Can we just clear that out? Or we have to look it up? Clear fault memory. Okay, something just happened. Read fault code. Okay, let's look up this P0A0D code. So basically this code has to do with this safety interlock, which is the main you know, service grip, which is right here. And it goes from battery positive through upper inverter cover, generator cable side, upper inverter cover motor cable side, engine wire air conditioner harness, connector cover assembly, Converter with converter assembly, and then the service plug grip interlock switch. So, one thing that I noticed was, again, they're the ones who pulled this plug out. This plug right here, does that even go anywhere? 
because there's a little switch right here that I assume would plug into something. Well, but there's nothing to plug into it. So how does this thing know that we're even, you know, installed? It's kind of strange. And it looks like the OEM position of that wire, it's a yellow and green. Let's see if those are the right wiring colors because I don't get what this little dongle here is. Is that supposed to plug into our... Uh, do a little research. Shouldn't that contact the safety interlock? Oh, <laughs> I just didn't know what I was doing. You gotta slide it in, boom. Okay, now it should be in good shape. Clear DTCs. That's what happens when the customer starts a job. I told him not to touch it. I'm gonna charge him extra for that crap. Yes, clear fault memory. No DTCs. Let's do key off. Power it down. That's it, door ajar. Check charging system. There might be more problems. Read fault code, no DTCs. No DTCs. Oh, there we go. Ready. We make this engine start up. It says it's good to go. Let's put it. Hey, it moves. Let's see, put it in neutral. Will this engine start up? I guess we can take it for a test drive. Hybrid battery low. Okay, the engine tried to start. Charges when not in neutral position. Okay, well. I don't know. Let's try to take it for a test drive. Let's try it again. I'm just gonna close the doors, try to drive this thing. Oh, now we got a P3000 battery control system. Oh, crap. All right, let's try clear DTCs. Okay. Key off. Key on. Oh, crap, we're not moving. It's ready. Let's <laughs> check hybrid system. <laughs> P3000. Okay, let's see what that means. Okay, so basically, this code, the 3000, hybrid control system, battery control system, power management, ECU alerts, drive perform, fail safe, control based on error signals, blah, 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 blah. Running out of fuel malfunction, the hybrid control system. So basically, this charging prohibited, this charging of the HP battery continues even after discharging is prohibited when the hybrid system is malfunctioning, state of charge has reached the lower limit. <clears throat> so this hybrid battery is so discharged, the car is like, no, we can't turn it 
you can't even use it to start the engine and therefore you can't start the battery so let's see hint if the vehicle is stopped park the shift lever in neutral neutral position for a long time may be set because the HV battery cannot be charged when the engine cannot be started this code may be set because the HV battery cannot be charged but you need the engine to run to charge the stupid battery and you need the battery to have enough juice to start the engine that's why hybrids suck <laughs> let's keep reading Cranking the engine once causes the state of charge to drop approximately 1%. Charging the HP battery once, 10 minutes, using the THS charger restores the SOC approximately 2%. Charging the HP battery using the THS charger takes approximately 10 minutes when the battery temperature is 25C. The THS charger is a supplemental charging device that enables the engine to start ready on state. After the repair, Clear the DTCs, perform the following procedure, check the DTCs are not output, turn power switch ready, park, decrease the state of charge, when the battery is being discharged, check the engine starts to charge the battery. So right now the engine can't start. State of charge, all battery increases and remains in the appropriate range. Yep. So we need this T THS charger. Charge the HV battery. Check the engine starts. Let's see how to do that. So measure the voltage between the auxiliary. So why can't it's charge from the auxiliary battery? Check the charge level of the HV battery. Yes. Then restart after shifting to P position. Confirm the engine starts. The engine leave it idling while in park. The engine cannot start. Follow the procedure. Charge the HV battery. Preparation for battery charging. Oh my gosh! Remove the service plug grip. Now turn the power switch on. This may cause malfunction. After removing the service plug grip, put it in your pocket. Um. This is ridiculous. Check the terminal voltage. Disconnect the clamp. Connect the THS charge in order shown by the circle numbers as in the illustration. So there and there. Fancy charger. That's it. I'm done here. I'm going to tell them take it to the dealer, have them hook up their fancy battery charger to even start this car. That's you I mean, hmm. <laughs> really you can't jump start a hybrid? Is the auxiliary battery's fine. You know, it's a 12 volt, but it can't like rejuvenate itself. That's really really stupid. So that's the end of this diagnosis, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.